Hi, this is a quick little video to show you how you can manage your memory on ChatGTP. So if you're getting, it normally comes up here, a little notification that says memory full. This is how you can manage the memory. And what it is, is basically as you have created content with ChatGTP, as you have inputted things, as you've asked it to create stuff for you, perhaps you've entered sales pages, perhaps you've entered old blog posts, perhaps you've put podcasts in and asked it to do You've asked it to do lots of different things. And from that, what it's done is it's picked up information about you along the way. And obviously it then uses that information to help it create other content going forward. So this is why it's quite beneficial in the first place to have a little conversation with ChatGTP to say, this is who I am. This is what I do. This is who my ideal client is so that it knows when it's creating content. Problem is mine's a bit of a mishmash because I create content for other people. Um, my daughter has used it to create content for her work. Obviously, I've used mine to create content for Lisa. So mine's a bit of a mishmash. So mine wouldn't actually be reliable at the moment. So I could sit here and say, I want to delete all of the memories and start again. So to do this, just click on the little dot on the right hand side, be your initials, click on settings and go to personalization. And there it will see memory and it will remember and as it says there chat gtp remembers teach it something new just chat with it um but you can see my memory is at 95 percent. once it's full new memories won't be created and you can turn it off as well so chat gtp won't make any memories at all um which actually if you are going to be using it to make content for lots of different people perhaps you use it for that to keep the memory completely clear would be quite good otherwise it's going to start confusing different people's things and object uh, you know personalities objectives etc but click on manage and then you can see lots of different things so um in december shelly will be running an advent calendar so you can see that's one thing because obviously i've managed the strategy club for lisa johnson i've used it to create certain posts and it's picked that up um and you can see where i've used it to do certain things um, organizing an advent calendar that kind of thing it's picked up all of that content but if I go down you'll see things like it will pick up things like Lisa is doing this so I'm launching a course called the author advantage well I'm not launching that course Abby's launching that course um, doing a series you know five years ago Lisa Johnson was exhausted I'm not Lisa Johnson so you can see how it would confuse it so you've got different options you can read through all of those memories and go what one's right what one's wrong um, or you can just clear those memories. It will forget everything that is ever written about you. You'll still have all of your content now on the left hand side. But that will then give you the opportunity to go back into chat GTP and have a conversation with it. So you can start saying to it, I am so and so. I help. This is what I do. This is the name of my business. These are my ideal clients. These are the products that I do. So that you can then start training chat GTP to talk in the way that you want it to talk. So that way it will sound very much less chat GTP and more like you and it will know about you. And so this is why have your own chat GTP. If you can, don't let other people use it. It's free to use anyway. But like I say, as soon as you get other people using it, so my daughter might use it to create content for her business. My other daughter might use it to create a bit of content for her work. So you can see how it will become a bit of a mishmash. So just have your own, but have that little chat with ChatGTP first so that you can start training it so that when that memory is full, that memory is full of memories about you and your business and your products and your ideal clients so that you will get the best performance out of chat. 